Hello everybody. Hey, I have another cool uh, locomotive to show you. This is an Athern Genesis SD70M. It has DCC and sound and it's a Tsunami 2 sound. And this is based on the Union Pacific prototype called We Are One locomotive. And it commemorates the employee resource groups that they have starting back in 1979. And you can see they have a list of them on the N right here. We'll take a closer look in a minute or so. But I think this is really a cool paint scheme. And it doesn't seem to have gotten a lot of attention on YouTube. I don't see many people even showing this locomotive. So I thought we'd just take a you know quick look at it today. And uh, so let's zoom in on the side shot here. You got your antenna right. We'll take a better look at the top. It doesn't have any rotating bearings on it, but uh, we'll take a closer look at the tank. And then you can see all the initials of the different employee resource groups that they have. Brake wheel and the fans, those fans do spin. And hey, how many locomotives out there have a blue and purple horn? I'm not many, I'm guessing. All right, let's take a look at the front. Oop. Put a better light on this a little bit, maybe. Or not. You got your windshield wipers, grab irons. It does have ditch lights, they don't uh, flash. New hoses and the Kinley couplers. I do like the nose on the uh, SD70Ms though, much more than the Ace. But this is just cool. Although, you know, let's be honest, how clean is white going to stay? But as you can see from my collection, from my videos, I do love special paint scheme locomotives. And oddly enough, I don't have any of the uh, UP Heritage units. I'd love to get the Rio Grande one. So that's the back side. Apologize, it's a little dark. And I did, I got the uh, coupler height gauge here. Let me just take a quick look at that and it's pretty much on. The front's the same way, but we'll, just for the sake of the video, I'll show you. Oop. Paint in there quick. Yeah, it's pretty much on. So that's nice. Let me set up so I can show you the top. Okay, so here's your top. You got your antenna array, vent. Pretty cool, they painted the top with the stripe and the number. Like I said, those fans right here do spin. There's blades in there. All right, so that was just a quick look at this uh, very attractive locomotive. So let's go put on track and see how she sounds. All right, let's get her starting up. I think this is pretty loud. They do have function nine. You can lower the volume. Which to me seems more prototypical. So we got your headlights, the uh, ditch light, and your standard stuff the horn. You got your short horn, 
bell. Now the bell came very low in volume. I've actually went to the CVs and increased the volume because you could barely hear it. But pretty standard stuff as far as sound goes. If you're familiar with uh, Athens Genesis. It's match one. There's no back pitch lights. Match two. So here's a list of your functions, you know, pretty standard stuff. You can pause it and go through it. I find it interesting the number boards do not light up. At least I couldn't figure out how they come on. And there's no cab chatter, like it's listed on function seven. But it still has this. So overall, you know, pretty decent product from Athern again. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick look and a pretty cool paint job. And as always, you know, where those trains are gonna see me, maybe. <laughs>